What's up guys, Jesse here with uh, Flinga Bows. I think that's the name of my bow company that I'm going to start. A um, little background on that <laughs> real quick. My son, Tegan, um, whenever I'm shooting my bows at my target out here in the yard, he calls them Flinga. Uh, Flinga! <laughs> so, uh, I just thought it would be kind of cool to maybe name my bows Flinga. F-L-I-N-G-A. H, maybe? I don't know. Just wanted to touch on that. Anyway, I'm going to run through sinew backing my bow with you guys. Um, so, uh, in case you don't know what sinew is, this is animal tendon right there. That's from a white-tailed deer's leg. Um, same thing as your Achilles tendon on the back of your foot. Same thing, pretty much. Okay, it starts like this. You pound it with a hammer um, until you get it basically fibrous. Um, like this. I mean, there's a lot more detail. You got to tear it apart once you pound it and get it in a good a little amount of sinew like that there. Um, and uh, then you wet it. That's what the bowl of water is for. And once you wet it, it becomes real pliable like string. Now, what I use is Tight Bond 2 wood glue. Now, it's weatherproof, which means it can get rained on, but it can't get submerged. Now, I put the wood glue on the bow already and I smear it around with my finger. And I, uh, I let the wood absorb any any of uh, the glue that it's going to absorb. This is just a light coat. Then uh, a second, I'm going to just put another coat of glue on it and then start sinewing it. So bear with me. Okay, so here I am uh, gluing it. Um, again, just another coat of glue. I'm gonna smear it on nice and thick with my fingers. Uh, tight bond comes off pretty pretty easily off your skin it just kind of like flakes off like uh, Elmer's glue did in school I know you guys all did that I did it so you just get it on there about like that it's not really um, hard and uh, I'll get back with you in a second with the next step I just want to add you don't want to be uh, sparing with the glue at this stage the first coat you do you just put a light coat on but this second stage if you see some spots that aren't really thick with glue go ahead and dump it on there because i mean this is sinews magic shit you know you don't want to play no games with it okay so what you want to do is you want to take your sinew right and you want to dip it in the water like this and what happens to sinew when it gets wet is it becomes malleable like string. Um, it's kind of stiff when it's dry, but when you put it in the water, it becomes malleable like string. And what I do is I lay out my little um, pieces that I'm going to use. Um, I, I usually run about 15 strands or so. You know, don't quote me on the exact number because, I mean, I don't really count. But that's about what I put on. Okay. I usually start around the middle area. And just go like this. And you want to run it vertically on there. You know, you don't want your pieces going side to side. You want it long ways. Because um, if your bow is going to break, usually it's going to break this way. It's going to snap, you know. And the sinew going this way will keep it from snapping. So I'm going to get a couple pieces on here, and then uh, I'll come back to you in a second. Okay, I want to touch something, a subject here, is that when you put sinew on, you want to do it kind of like bricks, you know, like how mason bricks are. You don't want um, seams right next to each other. You want to put, like, this row. You see how, like, the, there's a stop right there, but, but then this one's up an inch, and then that one's over an inch, and then this one's in. You see, actually, I kind of want to bring that one back little more right to it but you see what I'm saying you want it staggered ta 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 you don't want to um just you know one continuous I mean it's just better to stagger it it makes it stronger okay so uh pretty much this is how to send you your bow um sorry it was blurry there for a second I had to clean off the camera lens so pretty much this is how you send you your bow I mean, uh, it's man, sinew is magic shit. I'm not even going to bullshit you. Uh, bows, self bows are good. 
But when you put sinew on a bow, dude, it makes your arrows fly. It makes your bow stronger. Um, it's what the Native Americans did for thousands of years. I mean, it's just, it's proven to be what you do, you know? And uh, so basically, you just keep repeating this process. You can put up to three layers on there. Uh, some people even put four. Um, I usually just do one good thick layer. Um, and then you let it dry for, depending where you're at, you know what I mean? You, I mean, it'll be, it'll look like it's dry in a day or two, but really you should let it sit for at least two weeks, maybe three weeks if you're in Florida like I am. Um, you know, if you're out in the desert like Albuquerque, you know, New Mexico, Arizona, something like that, you can probably wait like a week maybe. But uh, you definitely want to give it a little time. This is what uh, sinew looks like when it dries. That's, that's actually sinew inside wood glue. Um, I tried to patch a bow, uh, and it didn't work, and i show you that real quick, just, just for shits and giggles, <clears throat> I had a crack in a bow, and I, uh, I tried to patch it, and, uh, that's what happened, this was, um, here, like this, and I tried to patch that, pulled it back, and it exploded on me, that was a mulga bet, style bow, it only bent there and there, and uh, it's an old one, it was one of my first bows, I've made about 12 since then, um, so yeah, that's sinew backing a bow, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for your subscriptions and your likes, uh, please leave some comments, I'll be happy to answer any questions I can, um, a lot of people want to know where you get Mine. I get mine from the Crazy Crow Trading Post, it's the Crow Nation, it's out of Texas, you can go online and find them. Um, that's pretty much the only place you're going to find sinew or sinew is uh, through Native Americans. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I appreciate your, your uh, comments and your subscriptions and your likes. So thanks for watching.